Alrighty, <clears throat> so hello YouTubers and uh, welcome to I guess an um, a, a very quick, hopefully very quick, unboxing video. Um, hold on, just need to make sure, I'll just turn off my Bluetooth. Alright, if you didn't hear me before, like, uh, welcome to another unboxing video, J just in case one of my mini wireless earbuds would auto-connect, and it's very annoying. Um, I already took, like, a little tape off of this thing. Uh, on the sides, I had it open a little bit. I really need to get a phone stand. Give me a second. Alright, this box was on top of it. Um... So here, I have the SN30 Pro Plus, which has been discontinued. Um, it's still nice. It still works. And this is the Pro 2. And I specifically got, you know, the, uh, the old Famicom, Super Famicom, I should say, uh, version. Oh, what's in here? Instruction manual on this uh, nice USB C. Now, see, this one has apparently the A is for like Apple, D is for like direct input, X is for X input, and S is for switch, from what I understand. This, uh, the Pro Plus doesn't have any of those buttons. Um, how you actually do it on this one. Is you like you hold the start or like you hold um, Y, X, or B, um, or even the A, like you hold like this button and then you press, or if you want Bluetooth, you hold B and then you press start and that puts it into Bluetooth mode. Um, I guess people just got really confused with that or forgot, unless it still does that. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming if it has physical buttons, it no longer does that. Because um, it's got a physical switch now. Oh god. What 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 even is all of this? What is Oh my goodness. Okay, what's 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 saying is even English? Okay. Um switch Okay, so it still can't be woken up like my Golikit King Kong 2 Pro controller can. Um, my my Golikit also has NFC and uh, I think HD Rumble. Of course, it was like 80 bucks at the time, so it's like uh, it, it included literally everything. Switch of the mode to S. Okay, so, yes, so this, um, also you'll notice on the box here, Hall Effect, um, these are Hall Effect analog sticks, ooh, that is, that is a nice give on that. That feels like an actual, like, maybe they actually have a spring in there? And, like, they just have that for tension? Because it feels like it has actual springs. And, well, the right one's a little looser. No, nah, it's still doing the thing where it's a little bit looser on the middle, but maybe it has springs. I don't know. Yeah, so now it's all on a physical switch. Which is nice. Because having to, like, <clears throat> you can kind of remember, I believe if you hold Y, so if I do this and do that, it's in Bluetooth mode now. And that's what I use to connect to my uh, Super Nintendo 8 bit dough little plug in thing. And then I will do that, and that turns it off. 
Oh, this has a button on it. What button profile? Starn home like normal. Hold start for three seconds. Okay, so that's a little different. You have to hold the start button to turn it off. Whereas in here, I think you got to hold them both. Or at least the start button. Maybe it is just the start. USB-C charging. Little reconnect button. Um, you can take out the back and actually remove this battery pack and just use two AA. Um, so when the battery eventually dies and explodes like they always do. Um, yeah, you can do that. Hold on. <laughs> I almost never use this thing out of the dock, so. It was in switch mode. What do you mean tilt this thing? I think that's just for these. Um, because those, the drift is bad on those. I don't think it works for this. Yeah. Seems to work. Hold any button to exit. Touch screen, that's not what I want. Wasn't there a way to... Oh, calibrate motion. Okay. not for that. Is it on switch mode? Seems to be. Hmm? Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a hall effect, all right. These things are insane, by the way. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, here's my Gola Kit King Kong 2 Pro. The thing that was 80. Um, starting to see a little wear and tear on here. Um, also, the reason why this was so expensive is the triggers are Hall Effect as well. Um, yeah, this thing's seen some travel. Um, can't really remove the battery, but, um, and then the update process on this is a little weird. Um, you have to, like, connect it over USB-C, hold this, and then, like, when it's connected to the computer, you hold this and you press the A button, and then, uh, it basically mounts. And you have to, like, uh, download the firmware 
before you do that. You download the firmware, unzip the file, and there will be two files in it, at least of this recording, NSO8 and NSO9. As you can see right there in the bottom left, uh, NSO9 is uh, this one. This is the King Kong Pro 2 or whatever. Um, NSO8 is probably just the regular Pro. I don't know, but definitely look at the files. It'll say NSO8 or NSO9. I use NSO9. You literally just drag and drop the file over. You wait a couple seconds. Like, it disconnects. And then it turns back on and it's updated. So it just, it does it by itself. <laughs> it actually updates itself. You just literally drag the file. And it's like, oh, the controller sees the fact that a file has been put there. And it flashes itself. Very strange. Um, <laughs> you don't need anything else on the computer. You literally just throw the file on it. And it's like, oh, I spot it. Yep, well, I mean, what more proof do you need? Um, I suppose I can try this one. This one is not Hall Effect. Oh, wait, whoops, hold on. Okay, it is just a start button. Hold Y. Yeah, so now we're player two. Okay. Still nice. I mean, these are still nice controllers. This one was not Hall Effect specifically. And this thing's been through a lot. This thing's several years old. Kind of exceptional. No, oh, yeah, it, you see a little bit. It's a little shaky here and there. I don't use the analog six all that much. It does center. Still, that still centers really nicely. Um, yeah, and of course, Hall Effect is just insane. This controller is still multiple years old. So I can do that. Now there's no dead zone. I found, I, I relearned that trick. Like hold this middle button and then press back. Well, no, not back. Um, the screenshot button. So like gear screenshot. And it'll like quickly buzz once. And that turns off dead zone. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> then you can also um, do it again. It vibrates a bit. Now it's got a little bit of a dead zone there. Um, and then you could, like, you know, hold this and click. Now it's got, it's like the sensitivity. I thought it was dead zone, but it's actually sensitivity. And then, uh... Wait. That's one. And then I can turn that off there. It's usually set to two. Yeah, there. 
well, medium sensitivity. This controller is insane, by the way. It also has an NFC. You can put, like, Amiibos here, and it has motion. And even the triggers are Hall Effect. Magnet. Insane controller, by the way. <laughs> um, all three of these controllers are nice. I mean, this one being regular analog. Uh, this one being regular analog is nice. And this one... This one actually feels heavier. The Pro Plus feels heavier. A little bit. It actually feels a little bit heavier. Not much, but like a few grams. This one feels a little lighter. Slightly different material. Could be a little cheaper. I'm not really sure. And I don't use the motion control, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. These buttons are programmable. It's got a profile thing on here. Which does what exactly? Hold the button you would like to sign turbo and press the star. Yeah. That's normal. That's, yeah, that's normal. Too much software. Support.8bidow.com. I guess I need the software. But I know you can customize... Wrong controller. I know you can customize, um... Like, sensitivity and other things. And basically do... Manual profiles. That you can switch between, like, three of them. Maybe button combinations. That's, that'd be kind of nice. Oh, for, um, playing on... PC or something. Where you can swap things around, maybe. Or whatever um oh you see that's the arrow so I'm used to is that how super famicom was with these hmm i don't know i just wanted i already had one of these with the super nintendo the you know, American Super Nintendo, it's like, oh, well, let me get another version of it, which is the Super Famicom, so I have, like, both, and, I mean, you're just, for Super Nintendo specifically, I mean, you're using these, too, so, why not? Very nice. I mean, these won't even really matter in some of this stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, an 8-bit though controller again. They're good. They work. They, As you can even see from this one, for... 
it being as old as it is, the analog sticks apparently is still zero, which I was actually not expecting. Should have went to training, but... Yeah, I should have went to training mode with him. I mean, it... <laughs> and this ain't nothing. And that's nothing, and these buttons can be programmed. What? Oh, I, when I set it down, it hit both of them. Like that. Like these, those two just, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what you get. I mean, what else? They work, man. It, this thing was on sale for, like, $45, like, 44 something And then it went back up to 50 And then it went back on sale for 45 I have no idea, but you can get this between 45 and 50 Oh, and there's, like, also see-through ones that you can get elsewhere um, on Amazon. For some reason, they're a different listing from 8-Bit Doe. I don't know why, but they are. Also, there's two different versions of the Pro 2. There's the Pro 2 Bluetooth Gamepad, and then there's the Pro 2 Bluetooth Gamepad Hall Effect. That's... It's very specific. Um... They look exactly the same, except the Hall Effect uses magnets in order to do with everything. So, what's like this? These, however, is your standard one. You see that you can see the use that's gotten. Um, I mean, yeah, you can like literally see the wear and tear um, on it. So it's not like this thing hasn't been used. And it still goes to zero. This thing's multiple years old. And discontinued. And it still works. <laughs> it still works. This thing is multiple years old. Um, and I still play Splatoon with this. Any video you see of me is being playing with this one. Um, on Switch. Like, pretty much any FPS or anything like that is done with this on the Switch. This thing, I try not to use too often, and I only use it for, like, Mario Maker or Super Nintendo stuff or things of that nature. Now, I can kind of do both with this. Have my Super Nintendo and analog stick. Because then now I don't have to worry about ruining the analog sticks. Because I put this thing... I've used this thing on PC. I've used this thing, like, everywhere. Um, I also have, uh, over here, this controller, which is getting dust. Sorry about that. I clean this thing, I swear, all the time, but I shed so much dust. Anyway, um, this is the GameSir, like, G7. Um, this thing was, like, 40 bucks, but it has to be wired. It's not wireless. Um, Hall Effect, a little bit looser. Then the other one has built in mic jack and 
the analog sticks just don't go bad. <laughs> Hall effect. Oh, see Nintendo controller. In this uh, oh, this case here, I 3D printed the other day, or like last week or week before. I 3D printed that. This one's older. You can tell. I 3D printed that case too. Because why not? Why not? But I got these as well that I can use. So yeah, that's gonna do for me. I mean, it, I don't even really need to show gameplay. I can do that later. I'll just when you see a Switch video, I'll say what controller I'm using um, near the beginning of the video, like I normally do. Because I believe Hall Effect controllers are very important. Um, this one is not Hall Effect, so these two are, are Hall Effect. So I believe these are very important. Do not, in 2024 going forward, buy a controller that does not have Hall Effect. They are not worth your time. I don't care if they're elite controllers. I don't care what they are. Not getting Hall Effect. They are a little bit weird getting used to. These are actually pretty springy. They might actually have springs in those. Because these don't. <laughs> these are just the magnets. And you feel it. Um, this actually feels closer to this a little bit. It's a little different. It They, they feel different. No matter like how close you get. Oh, covering. Um, <laughs> holding. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me, I guess. I mean, it works. Like, what more do you want? I mean, hell, even this one was kind of impressive. They, they, they These still center. This thing's multiple years old. So, yeah, it's like Pro 2, Bluetooth, Gamepad, Switch, Android, Apple, Steam. Steam is basically X input mode. So, it's like Switch and then old Apple devices, pre the new ones, apparently. There was an Apple specific one. AirPlay, maybe? I'm not really sure. It's weird that they added it, but hey, if you have like. An older MacBook or something, then this controller is great for you. Um, and then D input, it's like direct input. It's like basically generic Windows controller, right? And then X input is a specific Windows controller, which is specifically um, Xbox. So it'll be treated like this instead of like button one two three four with d input it'll be like oh you're a b x y for x input because windows and then i'm sure there's probably a button combination or something that or you can set up a profile to swap these so you're not confused um in fact is that a thing let's see apple Although well, there's your requirements, I guess. Maybe not. I, I'm pretty sure you can do it with the profiles. Maybe not. I know this, the Gola Kit has the ABXY switch. <laughs> it's some button combination. I forget which one it is, but you can hold a button combination. And it'll actually swap the buttons and make it like an Xbox one. This controller has like everything. It even has like macros that you can play and all play. And This thing is 80 bucks, but they literally shoved everything in here that they possibly could. Oh, and it's got like the, all the different... D input, X input, Android, Switch, all that stuff on here too. 
this thing is insane. I keep talking about it. It's supposed to be a video on this, but like this thing, don't let this thing fool you. That thing is still insane. <laughs> they are still a good buy. Uh. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys for watching. And see you guys next time. This is a nice addition to my Switch controller thing. So, And I don't have to worry about using the analog so much. That's why I didn't try not to use too much on here. Alright. Well, thank you guys.